The online permit center portal allows customers to apply for many types of licenses and permits, including building or engineering permits, planning applications, special event or fire permits, business specialty licenses, and more. While the specific steps vary slightly by application type, the process is similar for all applications. The Online Permit Center portal makes submitting applications easy. As an example for this video, we'll apply for a building permit and go through step by step. We strongly recommend that applicants submit a complete application at the time of initial submission. An application will not begin the review process until the submission has been deemed complete. First, sign in. From the portal home, navigate to the appropriate service area, in this case, Building, Permanent Signs, and SDC Estimates, and click Apply. Choose your application type. The question mark to the right of the dropdown provides information about your selection. Continue filling in the requested information. If you'd like someone else to be able to respond to reviews, request inspections, or pay fees on your permit, add them in the Other Parties Access field. You might use this section to add another responsible party or a specific project manager. Separate Contact Info fields by a comma, and separate multiple contacts with parentheses. Contractors and other businesses will be added in the Contacts step later. Click Next Step. The number of steps and information requested will vary. For certain permits, you will be asked to specify what type of work you are going to do, or what type of approval you are seeking. You do this by checking the box or boxes next to the relevant permits and work items. For example, when applying for a permit to build a deck, select Building Permit. Click Next Step, and then select the individual work items associated with any permits you selected. For extra information, click the blue Help bubbles. Click Next Step. Fill in the work item details in the description of work, then click Next Step. On the Location step, begin typing the location address or type the tax lot number in the search field and select from the list. Alternatively, find the location using the map. If you can't locate the address, click Can't Find Address and enter it manually. Staff will review and assign a new address if needed. Click Next Step. The Contacts step will auto-populate with any existing contacts for the property. If you'd like to add a contractor or business as a contact for your application, click Add Business from Address Book, select a contact type, and search for the contact by name or address. Click Add This Contact. Click Next Step. Depending on your application, the files you'll need to upload will vary. Review the guidelines provided at the top of the page, which list instructions for file types and naming conventions. Click Help Bubbles to show expanded info and a link to the form if applicable. After you've uploaded all necessary files, click Next Step. Review your application to make sure all information is correct. It's worth spending a little additional time on this step, as submitting an application that has missing or incorrect information can delay the review process. If you have any questions, save your application and contact us for help. Saved applications can be accessed from the My Items dropdowns at a later time. When ready to submit your application, check the Acknowledgement and CAPTCHA then click Submit Application. The confirmation page shows your application number and other details. Make note of your application number so you can reference it later. Any fees must be paid before the city will take action on your application. You'll pay your fees using My Shopping Cart. Click Make Payment to move to the Secure Payment Portal to complete your application.